right, boys and girls, I'm back for another great lesson. All right. So on yesterday, we discussed how to multiply decimals with whole numbers uh, and other decimals. Okay. Uh, so today we are also going to learn about multiplying decimals, right, involving whole numbers, but not every time you're going to multiply decimals and money is not involved. In some cases, you're going to multiply decimals, and it's because money's involved, right? Uh, so, let's get into it. Right. So, today's I can statement is, I can solve for the products of decimals to the hundredth where money is involved. All right. So, let's do some recap lesson. So, when you multiply decimals, okay, when you multiply decimals, uh, you don't have to line up your numbers. A lot of people have that misconception that you have to line up your numbers. Well, that's not necessary too. Let's say you multiply this number with four, okay? When you multiply these numbers, all right, you go through the process as if your decimals do not exist, okay? We'll say four times five is 20. We'll put a two down. We'll say four times two is eight plus two is 10, okay? We put the one down. We'll say one, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17, all right? Once again, we've got to give credit to the fact that there are two digits after the decimal, and we need to put two digits after the decimal. It doesn't really matter if they're zeros. They could be other numbers, okay? So now that we know this, all right, because we did this yesterday, let's add some dinero to it, some cash, okay, some money, all right? Let's say we have this example. We have, you a nice guy. I know you a nice guy because I've seen you in action and I know you a nice guy. And you know that I know you a nice guy. Okay? Let's say you want to buy some gifts for your friends. Okay? Uh, you buy some gifts for your friend and let's say there's five of friends and you want to present them with a nice gift. It's Halloween and Thanksgiving. It doesn't really matter. Right? The fact that you want to spend some money on your friends, and it's okay. Let's say you buy five friends, okay? You buy each one of them a gift, okay? Five friends, uh, and you buy each one of them a gift, right? Each one of them get a gift. Each gift costs $3.75, okay? Now, for you to calculate how much money you just spent, you have to do a multiplication. So you have uh, five friends. Let's write the money down. Three dollars, okay, seventy-five cents, okay. You want to know how much money you just spent? Well, you take that money and you multiply it five times, right? You're not gonna involve yourself because you're the one doing the buying, okay? And we're gonna multiply however much money we just spent. 5 times 5 is 25. We're going to put 5 down. Alright? We're going to put 5 down. Okay? We're going to retain the 2. Okay? 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 2 is 37. We're going to put the 7 down. And we're going to retain the 2. Okay? 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 2 is 17. Is 17. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind that you have to give credit to the digits that's behind your decimal. In this example, there are two decimals, I mean two digits behind your decimal. So you're going to do the same thing with your answer. You're going to put two digits after your decimal. So I'm counting one, two, and my decimal is there. And just remember to bring down your money sign. All right, so all together, you just spent $17.75 on your friends. I told you you was a nice guy. Now, uh, indulge me, okay? Let's say you have this scenario. And somebody say, hey, man, hey, uh, how much money, about, about how much money did you spend on your friends, right? To the nearest dollar. To the nearest dollar. Estimate how much money to the nearest dollar. 
Well, the nearest dollar is seven, seven, seven dollars, right? That's the nearest dollar. The nearest whole dollar. Okay, four seven. Well, I'm gonna use rounding rule to round this. I'm gonna look at my seven and underline the number behind it. And my rounding rule says if this is more than five, I add one to my target. And my target was seven, right? So since I'm adding one to the seven, I estimated that I spent eighteen dollars on my claim. Okay, keep in mind the decimal has to be there. Okay, all right, let's do some examples, and this time you're gonna lead. All right, you're gonna lead the ball this time. Okay. All right, so. Your mother uh, gave you and three of your siblings seven dollars and twenty-five cents each. Okay, so seven dollars and twenty-five cents each. Okay, now I say you gave you and three of your siblings. Well, I gotta count you as well, right? I gotta put you in the mix. So that's four people all together. Four. Four people all together. Now, five times four. Okay? Five times four is 20. Right? And I retain my two. Four times two is eight. Eight plus two is 10. I put my zero. I will retain my one. I have two, one. I say four times seven is twenty-eight plus one is twenty-nine. And I have twenty-nine, right? So my answer is two thousand nine hundred dollars. Is that true? No, because I have to give credit to the fact that there are a decimal here, there's a decimal, and there are two digits after the decimal. I have to make sure in my answer there are two digits after the decimal. So my answer is $29, right? So your mother gave $29 to four of her kids, okay? And that's all there is to it about it, all right? So let's try one yourself, okay? So uh, you and five friends going to the movies, you all get together, and the price of the ticket is a real good movie that's coming out. I think it's called uh, ooh, the Terminator 7. I just made that. Okay, so Terminator 7 is coming out, and it's made for kids. And the price of the ticket is $11.05. $11.05. Okay? That's how much the price per ticket. Now, you and five friends going to see that movie, right? Your parents grab you up. You all dressed nice. You guys are flossing. Or you're dripping. That's the word, right? You're dripping. And you say, okay, uh, it's six of us. Question is, how much money did you all spend? Okay? All right, take a minute to work that out. All right? And I'll be back. Okay, all right, uh, I went home and came back, all right? So it's been a minute, all right? So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna see if my answer matches yours, okay? See if my answer matches yours. So I have five times six is 30, right? Put three up there. Six times zero is zero, plus three is three. Six times one is six. Six times one is six. All right, gotta give credit. Okay, gotta make sure that my answer looks just like my first operation. All right, first operation. All right, so here we go. So 
there's two digits after the decimal. I don't see no other decimals. So I say, okay, my answer has to look just like my problem. There's two digits after the decimal. I got to put two digits after this decimal. Okay? And there it is. So all together, right, we spent $66.30. Did I get it right? Yeah? I know I would. Okay, here we go. If you have any questions on any of these steps, are you confused about anything, hit me up on Schoology, and I will answer your questions. Email me, text me, send me a message, and we'll talk. All right, wish you guys were here, or if not, you're still learning. All right, I'll see you next week.